So you have this molecule. You want to find the most acidic hydrogen, the second most acidic, and then the third most acidic. The reason for this kind of problem uh, is that if you're given a molecule and you know it's an acid, you want to know if there's more than one hydrogen, you want to be able to tell which hydrogen is the one that gets donated. And if there's multiple hydrogens, you'll have to choose between a number of different hydrogens. So here we want to label which one we felt was the most acidic, second most acidic, etc. Okay? So let's see what kind of hydrogens we have. We have hydrogens on carbon. We have hydrogens on nitrogen. Over here, here's more hydrogens on carbon. Here's another hydrogen on carbon. We also have hydrogens on sulfur. And we also finally have hydrogens on oxygen. So which of one of those is going to be the most acidic? Oh, maybe, yes? The one on the oxygen? Oxygen, why do you say that? Um, uh, oh, because um, oxygen is something about electronegativity or something. It's easier to pop off. Okay, if you draw the periodic table, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, the chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc., <coughs> sulfur, I uh, think selenium, mm -hmm. uh, phosphorus, uh, silicon, etc. So we're dealing with carbon, <coughs> nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. So oxygen would be stronger than nitrogen and carbon, that's for sure. Uh, but how about sulfur versus oxygen? Sulfur would be stronger. Sulfur, sulfur would be stronger because it's lower on the periodic table, it's larger. So we're going to put the number one most acidic hydrogen by sulfur. Uh, the second most acidic is oxygen, because it's more electronegative than nitrogen or carbon, so it's oxygen's right here. And then the third most acidic, we're going to go over to nitrogen, and nitrogen's right here. The fourth most acidic would be one of the hydrogens on carbon, but we weren't asked to list the fourth most acidic. So, there we go.